Okay. Uh, we won't be taking uh, notes today. I don't have a whole lot to go over. I was just uh, looking at the calendar just to try to plan between now and your, your last days walking this hallway, which is May 10, correct? You, you practice your graduation on May 10. That's your last day in here as a student, and then, so it's actually May 9 then. That would be as we're winding down. So let me uh, confirm that quickly if I look at our calendar. Okay, so I would plan on next week. I'll have papers for you to work on. Uh, we'll probably wrap the chapter up fairly easily next week and then I want you to these are the page numbers that it's just an extension of what you had done in biology where with that you don't have an exam per se over the phylogeny of these animals like you did in like you did in biology and then last semester. It's not one of them where you have this box and then you have those lines in like this, okay? And then, of course, the bottom one was the animal. This was a characteristic, a characteristic. And then this might have been, uh, in this case, we're not going to put class, or excuse me, we're not going to put phylum up there and class there. Why would we not be putting phylum up there? Because it's all the same one. Because they're all vertebrates. We're not even going to put this class up there. Why is that? Because they're all mammals. We're not even going to do that. So what, we're, what we'll be doing <clears throat> is pay attention to some of those animals just start thinking about that it's on page 418 419 and 420 okay some of that perhaps does sound familiar do any of you remember the <coughs> excuse me the names of orders from biology in other words if we went in the progression that you would have learned them it would have been this, this, <clears throat> and then I want to say what might have been after that. It, and it's not totally accurate either. running out of space here, but do some of these look familiar? Okay. Echidnas, duck-billed platypus, who's a marsupial? Kangaroos? Say that again? Yes. Koalas with a K, not a Q. And then don't say this last one wrong. You did it wrong. You did that on purpose, saying possum. You did not. Thank you, whoever said that over there. But didn't Mr. Wagner look at that and say it, it's both ways? Okay. So what way is it in here? We have no opossums. That's what I thought too. Okay. So then, who would be an insectivorin, do you think? Well, that's what they eat. Okay. You would think that the reason that this is tricky, anteaters do eat insects. That is true. 
but they're not subterranean. That's what that's where the classification separates. Shrews and moles are this, okay? Are these the only insect eating mammals? Who else up there eats insects? No, it's not. Yeah, it's Chiopter. I just happened to look and said, I don't know why I got a Y there, probably because I looked. Those are bats, right? Yes. Yeah, they get the swing of things. Yeah. <laughs> you ever you don't do that going up to the plate, do you? No. You know what that means, right? Yeah, you're pointing to where that ball is going to go. It's a myth. I, I don't know how accurate it is. It's believed that they don't know if Babe Ruth was really pointing to the outfield or if he's pointing to a heckler or one of the outfielders. But in, <clears throat> I've never... It's with elementary students. Maybe you did this before. I, I just find it so hard to believe. How can the telephone game, how can one part of the story get so far off between where it starts and where it ends? You, you ever heard of that before? Okay. So I'm thinking throughout the course of time that maybe that story just tried to make it better and better and better to where Rather than Babe Ruth was going like this, he wasn't doing that. He went like that, pointing to the outfield. And then, sure enough, swung it. That wasn't very good. I can't do that very well. Yeah, there we go. There it went. Crack of the bat. Okay. So then, why do I... I did that again. Okay, so there is your uh, anteater and I want to say armadillo, but here there seems to be a little bit of confusion. Unless I just glanced down, and that might be the different family that it's in, because this says singulata for armadillos, but um, I always believe them to be in this order. Of course, you said the bats. Do we happen to know who these are? They're aquatic. Nope. Those are aquatic too, but not this type. Think big. Yeah. Whales, dolphins, those are cetaceans. And of course, um, yep, primates. So we'll decipher that down a little further. That'll be next week's task, finishing up the chapter, uh, handing you your short answer papers, and then, yeah, getting ready for our exam over the different orders because we go further than the order, go all the way down to the family level, okay? What we mean by that is probably the easiest two families or the or the simplest order would be this okay <clears throat> so we would do this What do you think? Feli concolorcorii. That's a specific genus and species for I was just thinking, do I want to spell it out or just abbreviate it? So 
we'll just abbreviate it. Feli. The Feli family, which would be these. Who else, maybe? Cheetahs, leopards, yep, snow leopards, okay. You know, I don't think that first one you said, they're not with the rest. They got thrown out of cat school because they were a cheater. Yeah, they got thrown out. Cheater, cheetah, cheetah, oh, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me. Probably, I'm looking for that E yet. Okay. Um, Canis. See, this is the Latin term. Be right, because when you do the English translation, then you get that. And then, typically, when someone says no offense, that, that means the next thing they're going to say, you're going to take offense to. But, so I'm going to fall into that trap too. No offense, but you probably never even, there's no reason why you would know this. Eurasis. Those are your bears. <laughs> so that's what we mean. Not only are we going down to the order level, okay, because this is the order. They're all carnivores, okay, and then we go down to the actual families then too. Okay, so again, that's for another time and another place. Uh, probably two vocabulary evaluations next week, and then that would... Put us up to the 19th. We'll have your paper assigned. And we don't necessarily need to have both vocabulary quizzes. We could do one next week and then one the. Need to get a better glass.